Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Um, I, I truly have absolutely no idea what's in here. This was sent by my buddy Scott, who, you know, is somebody, if you guys have uh, been around for a bit, you probably uh, have heard about Scott before. He usually sends really, really cool knives for me to check out on the channel. He told me, he said, I sent you something. He wouldn't tell me what it was. I don't know if it's a knife. I don't know if it's not a knife. I have no idea. Uh, but um, I'm intrigued. This has been here for a bit because I've kind of, you know, got an order to things. Um, but uh, I'm going to open it today and share this with you guys. So pretty excited. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And thank you to Scott for sending whatever this is. It doesn't feel super heavy. So, <laughs> but knowing Scott, it's probably something pretty epic. All right, we're into the side here. Let's see what we've got. What do we have? Okay, is it a knife? Okay, it's definitely a knife pouch. <laughs> what do we have? Okay, this is definitely a knife. Oh my gosh, no way, no way, no way. Did you mean, <laughs> wait a second, hold on. <laughs> Thank God there's a note. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> wait, read after opening the video. I know you have a love affair with Brian's work and no, I won't tell Mrs. MC. <laughs> I figured I'd just send this piece, Apex Limited Edition 1 of 100 Mogatai and Damage Steel. This is essentially a Void XL in Brian's custom world, IMO. Uh, all the excellence that is Brian. Enjoy. Oh, man. Awesome. This is so cool. No wonder you didn't tell me. So, I have checked out the Apex, but I, <laughs> I, uh, I guess I didn't know that they did these in Mogatai and Damage Steel. So, this is something... You, I don't know, at the time of this, God, these are nice. At the time, the, so here's the thing. This is the Apex and this is the Tanto variant. It's compound Tanto with some belly. It's actually a really cool blade shape. Um, the, the standard versions of this knife are still available. This version, I'm going to guess, is not. Um, but you can still buy these knives in like the, the standard configuration with M390. I just... I don't know why I did not know that they had done a few of these in Mokotai and Damasteel. Oh, God. Always just a ridiculously excellent job with this. Um, here's the thing. Uh, you guys might notice there. This is... Hold on a second. It's crazy to me that this is a production knife. This is insane. I have a... I just noticed that he did this... The same way that he's done um, the damage steel on his customs where he doesn't do a super dark etch. Um, we have like this incredibly high polish. I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about and why I now am interested in picking up one of these the next time he does something like this in damage steel. Here's another Brian Nadeau, um, a Sharp by Design production variant in Damage Steel. This is the Evo Typhoon. And while this is very beautiful, you can see there there's a heavier contrast between um, the polished areas and the darker part of the etch on the Damage Steel. This, everything is light. The only other time I've seen this is uh, on, his, uh, on his customs, which actually uh, Scott sent me. I, what was that? What was that? The, uh, was it the Typhoon? Like the full size or the... I can't remember what it was, but now I want this. I didn't know that uh, he was doing these on the product. God, that is so beautiful. That is so ridiculous. If you don't know, Damascus steel is different from Damascus in that it's, I mean, it's essentially, it's, you know, two compositions pattern welded, but uh, in the case of Damascus steel, right, where, where Damascus can literally be any two compositions. There are a lot of people out there, and if you're new, it's okay. I remember thinking this too. A lot of people thought Damascus was Damascus. It was just like this magic 
composition that was just that's just su superior. Not only is it not universally superior, but Damascus can literally be any two compositions of steel. So a saw blade and a railroad tie can be made into Damascus. It doesn't mean it's going to perform very well, right? You could also make Damascus out of two very high-end steels. Whether or not they work well together or complement each other is a different story, but you can do that. Damascus steel is proprietary. It is made by the Damascus Steel Company, and it is always PMC 27 and RWL 34. The end result being very, very similar in performance to CPM 154, which is awesome, making it a truly performance-oriented steel that looks amazing and takes a wonderful polish, obviously. So that's why you see people paying so much money for damage steel. It does make a lot, it does uh, cost a lot of money to create. It's definitely an expensive process for sure, but people will usually pay more for damage steel in particular because of, uh, you know, its attributes, I guess, to add as many syllables as possible to what I'm talking about. I like these inlays. Somebody, uh, I, there was, there was somebody who was like all bent out of shape about the inlays and how it was like, it was like lazy. Like, like Brian Nadeau tripped and was like, whoops, I accidentally made the handle this way. I mean, if you, you know, if you don't like the aesthetic of the handle, that's fine. But it was definitely, when, anything that Brian Nadeau does, anything that he designs is an intentional, very specific uh, design element, right? Um, and, you know, it, the, the thing here is that this allows for weight reduction and, you know, inlay uh some inlay work and then they're able to kind of show off these lines and they all follow each other right um but uh i don't mind it i don't uh, really have a problem with it the thing about it is whether you like it or not it's not in the way of anything right i mean you know he could have done just the inlay truthfully if you want my opinion i think it would have been nicer if this was all all the way through um, and then uh, if we had some milling on the inside, but then it probably would have looked a lot more like everything else. Well, not that everything he creates is, looks exactly the same, but it would have had less personality, right? Um, this has a more specific personality. I think that, you know, in the case of my knives, God, I want that now. Dang it. <laughs> Need to know about this stuff. Why didn't I know about it? In the case of the... Um, the Evo Typhoon and the, um, the this other one here that I keep forgetting the name of because I have I you got cut me some cut me a break. I own a hundred knives and I handle a billion knives in like a month it seems right. Um, but uh, the, the 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 mini um, to the Tempest. Oh my God. Anyways, this has a little bit more personality than these two. Whether or not you like this aesthetic is an entirely different story, right? Not every aesthetic of every knife is meant for every single person, right? So we can't say, oh, they messed up because I don't like it. No, they made it thinking some people are going to like this and some people are not going to like it. Whatever. This is what we want to do, right? So I kind of appreciate that this has a little bit more personality even though I don't personally love that you know, opening in the uh, handle as much as I like the just the solid look of some of these. This is super duper cool though, and uh, I'm pretty excited to have one here. And now I can um, show this in the final review of the uh, the Apex. So, anyways, um, I think that's going to be pretty much it today. I'm just looking over his note to make sure that I got everything accurate. Very cool. Thank you very much for sharing this, Scott. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.